Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel, Passion to Excel. In this video, we are going to show step by step on how to size a half grid PV solar system. You can follow these steps for you to size your home or a village according to your requirements. If you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to our channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team or donate to our channel for us to continue making videos like this. The first step is our load studies. We can use it for a new house or existing house. For the new houses, we are going to estimate based on the appliance that might be used here. This table shows that here I have our appliance, we have power demand, we have power of the, the appliance, we have a quantity, working hours, and energy consumption. And then we find energy consumption per day by power times time. And this case also will times the quantity to get us the total power of the house. You can follow as it is. And then it's added 20% of a losses or an additional appliance that might be added in the house. You can follow as it is. The second step is using a hold house. A hold house normal comes with an electricity bill from the utility power or supply. It gives you a general, it gives you a monthly energy consumption and the amount that you're going, uh, you need to pay. Then here you can just get the average of monthly, which is, is 440 kilo, kilowatt hour per month. And then from there, we can easily divide by 30, which will give us our ex an, an estimation of daily consumption which is 14.667 and from this one we can go and start sizing our system the first thing that you will know is our energy consumption as we saw as we saw our on our previous slides and here we find a, we we calculate our pv power peak which is energy consumption times the maximum intensity of solar irradiation times annual average solar and times the losses and the efficiency. These efficiencies are from the inverters, batteries, and the losses are from the, the losses from the cables and others. And then we can easily calculate the number of models in total number of models by peak demand divided by power model, and the number of models parallel is by total panels divided by the number of panels in series. You can follow as it is. And then now we are going for the inverter size. Inverter size, we can use our PV inverter. It's equal to 1.1 times the PV power peak, which is the an inverter ratio should be between 0 0.9 to 1.2 to avoid too much losses. Now we can size our battery. Battery can size by the energy consumption times DA times the DC voltage and depth of discharge. DAs is the anonymous is autonomy days, it's the days that you want your battery to supply without in case of rain. Rain or without a or a, um, yeah, who cares if rain we, at least you have you can a uh, cutter for that. And then you have our how to size our number of batteries in parallel and series. You can fall as it is. Here we have our the, the capacity of the battery divided by the capacity of single battery. And we have our number of batteries in series is the V system divided by the voltage of the single battery. Now we are sizing our cable. DC cables can be sized using this formula. I maximize so the number of models in parallel times the short circuit current of the panel and the safety factor. We will show in the next steps. And then we can find our DC cable on the string is I short circuit times F safety. And then if our AC cable, I max my PV, A, uh, is the PV 
in the inverter, the power of inverter divided by the, 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 the voltage of inverter and the power factor. For the inverter, we can, we can calculate using the 1.2 times open voltage and the number of modules in series. The current is 1.56 times the short circuit current. And then this is just a current, our current rating. Let's continue with our system sizing. Our PV, now we are going to substitute the number. Our, we have our energy consumption 14.6. The solar irradiation is one kilowatt hour per, kilowatt per hour. And we have our losses are assuming to be 0 0.9 and our solar radiation 5. Now we can find out, calculate our number of series, v, which we are using a, a DC voltage of 48, and the VRM is the voltage in the in our model. And then we can calculate, and according to our calculations, the total the number of panels in, in parallel is 9. That means our PV. Our watt peak or our PV size is, is equal to 4.095 kilowatt peak. 1.1, and now our inverter is we just need to divide that to, that the peak power times by 1.1, which will give us 4.5 kilowatt inverter. As you see, our vo our system voltage is 48, our depth of charge is 90. And the battery can be calculated by energy consumption times two days. That means the battery should be able to supply the power in two days without any interruption in case of rain and shading. And here we have all the total number of battery in parallel and the total number of battery in series. Remember, this size of battery is in is in is in ampere hour, that which means we we'll, we need to times it by 48 to get us our kilowatt hour and then our maximum current is we have number of parallel of number of panels in parallel is nine short circuit and 1.5 1.225 of safety as you can see there our safety factor those are the, the the panels that we use to size this and you can see our operation voltage is there our volt our open voltage is there then you have our inverter power divided by the three phase system times power factor. And then you have our voltage rating for the size of the for the size of the potential device. Voltage rating and current rating should be equal or max or equal or greater than the 59.82 volt and 17.8 ampere. When you are choosing your, your, your potential device, you should always consider this voltage and this current. As you can see there, power factor and the AC voltage. And then as a summary of the system is, the daily consumption is 14.66 kilowatt hour. PV array is equal to 4.095 kilowatt peak. Protective device should be 59.8 voltage or 17.8 ampere. That is the minimum. And you have our battery bank of 28.8 kilowatt hour, which could be able to supply for two days without any interruption. Inverter size is 4.504 kilowatt. Charge controllers is 128.4 ampere. Now, from based on this, you can now call and use any PV, any PV solar system, uh, software. It can be PVC or Helioscope to validate it. Thank you so much for watching.